This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 17, Building an App Canvas Painter, Puzzle 10. Store your dots. Okay. So what we have so far, by the way, right, we have, but da and then if you hold shift, if you don't have this, you need to go back and do the other portions of this lesson. If you get stuck, you can watch my tutorial. Store your dots. Now we're going to get to, into the core act of the activity. Perfect. We will be creating a record of every dot your user draws. Ooh, are we going to do an array? To do this, we will append every event, ooh, append, parameter to an array as events are generated. Wow, that's a lot of info. So all the events that are passed, we're going to store to an array. When we store every mouse location in an array, we can use many interesting effects and redraw the image in different ways by looping over the array. First, let's just make sure we can capture them, okay? Create a new array outside of the ev handler function, variable event list, okay. So we need to declare an array, and we're doing it outside of the function, so it is, uh, so it's universally accessible, right? Because if we create a ver li ver event list inside our function, the only thing that could mess with it is stuff inside this function. All right, so now I have it, and so now I can have something change it in here because it's universally accessible, okay? And then in your event handler, before you call circle command, use append item to add the event parameter to event list, okay? And so what I think we're doing right now, well, why we're doing this is... If we append all of our events, we'll know where the mouse was, meaning we'll know where we drew, right? Because remember, in each event, there's the X and Y location of the mouse right now as it's over the mouse move. I mean, as it's over the canvas. So if I'm moving the mouse over the screen every, like, 30 times a second, maybe even more, it's telling this function where the mouse is. And so we're just going to append all of those events so we know every tiny second of where the mouse went and store them. Okay. That would let us save our painting maybe and reload it later. We'll see, I guess. Okay. So we're going to append not to list our uh, array's event list. And then what are we going to append? Well, each time this runs, we want to add that particular event parameter to it. Run the program and draw some dots. In the debug console, event list, oh, did I? Oh, got it. All right, let's run. Hold shift, draw dots. And so now in the debug console, type console.log and then in quotes event list, which is the array's name, the variable, and inspect the contents. You should have a record of everything. So let's look at our debug console right here, right on the command line, I'm going to be typing way down at the bottom, console.log event list, and it should show us every event we have saved, which should be a lot. Yeah. See all that? And then it goes up and up and up. There's a ton of it, because it's every time, every little dot we drew has an event. Cool. I wonder what we're going to be doing with now that we have this info. Let's uh, keep going.